ultimately terminal necrosis the functional destruction of the hepatocytes which are creating the contributing the secretory function will be totally replaced by scar tissue with no secretion and that is called dhadu bhagam dhadu bhaga means necrosis and necrotic tissue will become never secretory necrotic tissue will become never secretory no bile no enzyme nothing like that and finally Another belahani cha. You can see the belahani. What is belahani? Immunodepletion. Dhadu saram is immunity. Dhadu pagam is immunodepletion. So here the word pagam is negative. Dosha paka is a positive even where ama dosha is undergoing padana by which health will be the product. But dhadu paka is a destructive negative phenomenon where the dhadu sara itself is destroyed. So in, in the ultimate condition of the liver cirrhosis, you are getting dhadu paka. Dhadu paka is nothing other than nidra nasha kristamba vishtamba gaurava aruji. See the beautiful definition. Vishtamba gaurava aruji. Aradi belahan is the total immunodepletion that is ultimately in liver failure. So Ayurveda very well tell belahan. Agni Moolam Bellam Pumsam, Agni Sthana, Pitta Sthana, Metabolic Seat, Recta Vaga Srodo Moola Sthana, Liver, Totally Replaced by Scar Tissue, Liver Cirrhosis, Halimaga, Tandra, Bella, Anala Brahmsham. So that is the story behind the cirrhotic liver stage. Cirrhosis is most commonly caused by alcoholism and hepatitis C but has many other possible causes. Fatty liver, liver fibrosis and liver cirrhosis. This is the simple gradual kriya kala. Prasaram, sthana, samsariyam, vekti and bhedam. Uvadravas will be manifested. So if you interrupt the treatment, interrupt the samrati with a very good uh, fatty liver samrati, you can prevent the next stage. As soon as they are getting the alcoholic fatty liver, go to the madhatiya chagilsa, Kapha medo hara chagilsa, grindi chagilsa and dushta medo chagilsa. You can prevent the next stage of shrinking. Once it is reaching the liver cirrhosis, only option available is rasayana, gurda prayoga, like guduchyari gurda. Guduchyari gurda means widely indicated later immunodepletion associated with the liver cirrhosis. You read halimaka chagilsa, guduchyari gurda and silajadu are the only options. Guduchyari gurda and Silajadu are the option. Again, one more picture. Uh, fatty liver, fat accumulates, fat plus inflammation and scarring. That is hepatitis. And finally, scar tissue. So, from a pitta to kapha and finally to the vada. Ultimately, all the disorders will end with the vada domination. Almost all the pathology will be ending with a later events of destruction. Dadu vagam vada. I will tell you one beautiful concept before this. Thadu mala sanchayam is the initial stage in most of the pathology where kapha will be the dosha. Dadu pagam is the middle stage where pitta will be dosha and dadu chayam where vada will be the later event stage. Are you getting me? Most of the lifestyle diseases will start with dadu mala sanchayam kapha jenyam, dadu pagam pitta related and lastly dadu chayam vada related so treat between dadu mala sanchayam and dadu bhagam you may not be able to treat in the stage of dadu chayam dadu mala sanchayam kapham lenghana sadhyam dadu bhagam pittam dhridabanam dadu chayam vadam belliyam rasayanam this is the normal order of diseases which are happening in the contemporary lifestyle scenario now we started with spider navy you remember do you remember? I had asked a question, what is spider navy? And here you can see vascular lesions consisting of a central arteriole surrounded by many smaller vessels due to an increased estradiole. This is what is the logic of recta baha, srodo, dushti and liver. A liver pathology will be manifested in blood vessel and palmar erythema. There will be redness in the palmar area exaggerations of normal speckled mottling of the palm due to altered sex chromosome. I think you can see some pictures. You can see some of the uh, cat pit medusa, the dominant veins here. And ascites will be there. Cat pit medusa already we have seen. Hypogonadism will be there. Splenomegaly will be there. All these are the uh, 
liver cirrhotic pathology, hyper or hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, deputants contractor, gynecomastia. See, when I was a student in second BA, must listen carefully. One minute you relax. Escape from liver cirrhosis and go to your second BAMS. Okay, ready? Remember your second BAMS Roga Nidana class. Remember your teacher who taught you Roga Nidana. I don't know you remember or not. Anyway, I remember. So when my teacher was teaching Kamala, the next sloga was Halimaga. Ashtangarvim, Sutra Nidana Sanam. So she was teaching me Halimaga. I will tell the sloga again. Ayrgasyava Pidottam Pandiryoge Yidabhavet Vata Pittal Brahmas Trishna Understandable Strishu Aharsha was the next word. So I was very much worried why he is telling about Strishu Aharsha in Halimakam. In a Vakpada, not at all having any such a relation, he is telling a patient with Halimaga will not be having no interest with women. Then I was surprised. What is the logic of Kamala and Sri Shagarsha? I asked so many teachers. Nobody answered. You forget it. There are so many things you have to study. You forget. So I forgot it. I passed the BAMS with the first rank only. Then I was presenting a paper in Nagpur where all other papers are from modern medicine and only my paper was from Ayurveda. And most of the doctors are modern medical doctors. So I was very much difficult to talk Vata Bitta Kapha. Talking Madhavitta Kapha in front of an allopathic doctor is very much a difficulty for the, especially in an outside state. But suddenly when I was presenting the, talk, the almost the same topic, one idea came to my mind because I was attending the speeches of the modern doctors. In liver, sharpen your brain, in liver cirrhosis, bile will not be clearing the estradiol, which is an estrogen derivative due to improper liver uh, functions. Listen carefully. Estradiol, never go from this moment. Estradiol is a derivative of estrogen, which will be normally cleared by bile. So estradiol will never build up in the blood. But once there is liver cirrhosis, the secretion of bile is less. So this estradiol will not be cleared through bile. So what will happen? The concentration of the estradiol will gradually build up in the blood, which will give it to feminine nature to the patient like gynecomastia. Are you getting me? This is Pakka modern gynecomastia is seen in liver cirrhosis. The reason is increased concentration of estradiol and estrogen derivative. Why estradiol is getting increased? Because bile is not there. If bile was there, estradiol was cleared through the bile, so it will increase and increased estrogen will always give a feminine nature like gynecomastia, stri shogarsha may be the reason and that is why you see benign proliferation of glandular tissue of male breast presenting with a rubbery firm mass extending concentrically from the nipple. See, this may be the beauty of telling Sri Shagarsha in a remote Yagartroga by an old scientist Vagbada. I guess. Are you getting me? Yes or no? Otherwise there is no chance of explaining Sri Shagarsha in a Kamala Roga. But modern medical science very well tell that Estradiol will be there. So this was my conclusion after getting sick and I will, I will, uh, this is the point. Vascular lesions consisting of a central arteriole surrounded by many small vessels due to an increase in estradiol. So increased blood vessels is the derivation of estradiol. The same estradiol will lead to gynecomastia. Then naturally there can be an issue about Sri Shogarsha. The surprising Romagarsha even to me was how Ajarya wrote this feature. You now just think about what, but you forget the AVP and the 20th century. You forget, you remember that area where he was sitting in a tree writing a sloga on Halimaga. You, you go to that level. You forget all this mobile internet and computer, go to that level in a jungle forest. He was writing the sloga in a palm leaf. He could have avoided the word Sri Shogarsha. But Sutra Sthana Vagbada selected seven symptoms and one symptom was See, Shogarsha, which the modern scientists explain like this. So, they might have seen liver cirrhotic patients with the gynecomastia and they told like this. Are you, are you getting me? So, what do you learn from now? So, a minute word mentioned in the Sutra Duba can be explained by two chapters of Devi Putra, Hariputra Samhita, Istro. Yes or no? 
I think it is very strong. Yes or no? Yes. So what do you need? You study Haliyamagam in Nairvedam. You read the Devi Putra Samhita. Right to left brain. Communicate through the third eye. Your Manobaha Srotas. Clear? So this is the take home message. Egam Shastra Madhiyanu Na Vidyan Shastra Nishtaya. We know this Loga. But Ayurvedic people will not study modern. And Ayurvedic people will not study Ayurveda also. That is generally happened now. If you go to modern medical science, they will study modern medicine. When we are getting, we are having double, double load. We have to study entire Madhavuttagavam plus full modern. We don't study both. Am I right? Once there was an incident, I will tell you. To motivate you, I am telling. Once I was sitting in my OP in Kannur College, Government College, Kannur. So one of the allopathic doctor who was my friend came to me for a specific disease. And this friend was very close to me, so there was no ego clash for an allopathic doctor to come for treatment for an Ayurvedic doctor. It was a case of Kadigraha with no pathology. If there was an IVDP or something like that, they could have managed it. An allopathic doctor, a very famous doctor having Kadigraha with no evidence in imagiology came to me thinking that Ayurveda will do some Tandra, Mandra like that. Okay. When he came to me, I was surprised because there is no pathology. There is nothing in the pathology, no IVDP, no spine problem, no extra medullary, nothing is there, then how I will treat? Along with this allopathic doctor, another allopathic doctor was there, who is always against Ayurveda. You know, my friend allopathic doctor's friend was anti-Ayurvedic. But the patient, patient allopathic doctor is Ayurveda friendly. So I have written some medicine, whatever. I thought that it may be a problem of our own vada. Our own vada cannot be seen in any... MRI, because Vata is Amurta. MRI is also Amurta. Okay. So I told you like that only because no evidence by modern medicine. I treated whatever be, he got relief. And he was happy. After two days, he came to again my OP to take the medical certificate. You know, they have to produce the certificate to get the leave. Unfortunately, that day I was not in the OP. I was on leave. So all my PG students were sitting in the OP. So this doctor came and told my PG students, where is your teacher, Goba Gumar? Then my students told, he is on leave. What do you want, sir? No, I want medical certificate, like that only. Then the students told, sir, don't worry, tomorrow sir will come, he will give it to you, don't worry. So in between, the doctor, the allopathic doctor who was the patient, showed my OP ticket to the PG student. What is the diagnosis your teacher has written? I have written in the top of the OP ticket, PGV. Then my student was not understanding what Gobagumar PGV. Then he told sir, Gobagumar sir only, na, he always write like this only, we don't know sir, like that only. In the absence of the teacher, students are always telling the truth, okay. <laughs> eh? So he is always like that only, we don't know PGV like that only, you don't worry, we will ask to him when he comes. So next day again, in the OP, the doctor came, all these PG students are very smart and not telling anything, this doctor came. Sir, I want medical certificate. Okay, anyway, how is you? No, I am very much cured. I am thankful to you, but give me the medical certificate. Then this friend of that allopathic doctor, no, who is anti Ayurveda, he was very seriously looking at me. Now, doctor, you please tell me what is your PGV? Because he is a very famous rheumatologist, never heard the diagnosis PGV in his lifetime. Then I told, sir, PGV is our own terminology. You don't understand. When we give a medical certificate, we have to use our terminology, that is the legal point. So I wrote it, whatever be the legal point, you tell me what is PGV. This doctor was compelling me like that. Then I told sir, you don't come, you will not understand, it is our terminology, you forget it. No, 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 you cannot escape from uh, PGV. I searched Google Ajaria, PGV, and Google Ajaria is telling only Procter and Gamble, something like that only. So there is no rheumatic diagnosis of PGV in entire Google. If there is not in Google, how you can write Mr. Govagumar? Like that he was questioning me. Then also I told sir, you don't come to me to tell. No, no, you should tell. You are a doctor. It is your duty to tell. Pakwasiya kuruddha shulana handra gudinam mala rodha asma bhartha asa trika prashta kadi graha. But, but, but. I told you, no sir. I told you. Wait, wait, wait. I told you, you know, sir, you don't ask me. <laughs> I got hundred times I told you, don't ask me. To me, 
my case your case is pakko ashe keda vada because you are having constipation yes you are having kadigraha i have a pathology where constipation and kadigraha comes without any structural pathology pakko ashe keda vada pakko ashe kruddha shula anaha andra gujanam mala roda asma vardha harsha triga prishta kadigraha just like you write ivdp i wrote pgv pakko ashe keda vada he was very much satisfied my pd student was so happy laughing till then i i asked why you are laughing my pd student till now he was not talking was very happily laughing then i asked why my, my dear you are laughing uh, sir no sir again he is laughing only then my dear you tell me why you are so happy no sir if an allopathic rheumatologist write ivdp a first year bam student will tell it is intervertebral disc prolapse but an ayurvedic doctor write pgv the modern rheumatologist don't know what is pgv so i am very happy sir <laughs> are you getting me because we study about science now if they write ivdp even a second bms student will tell it is intervertebral disc prolapse but if we write pgv even google cannot tell <laughs> so always be proud of your science always be proud of you whenever i am writing any case i will write in my diagnosis only let them come and ask me what is the diagnosis am i right i should not write lbp low back pain anybody can write to write lbp for a patient with low back pain you need to be ms no but you write pakwasiya gadavada because pakwasiya kruddha shula anaha andra kujanam mala roda asma vardha arsha trika prishta kadigraha and my treatment was also pakwasha vata anilobanam only his hedu was same my linga was correct my ashada was correct so my medical certificate was also correct so now four sutram hedu linga ashada medical certificates not only trisutra trisutra you can come to the extent to next level so my simple point is always believe in your science whatever you know in modern science you study everything in modern science but come to ultimately in your own conclusion that is the ayurveda so this is what i am telling stree now you are very clear stree shu agarsha told centuries back by agarsha, even without any idea of estradiol can be explained by the increased estradiol concentration due to hepatic failure leading to gynecomastiasis the gynecomastia is the reason for getting streeshu agarsham see i will tell you you cannot identify sushma jyotsha chalaguna vada by an mri when one patient came to me when one doctor came to me see all whenever you present a paper in front of allopathic doctor then only your real jnana will come out you know because you are finding it difficult to communicate them once i was teaching the allopathic doctors in a venue regarding the same ivdp i was showing some mri listen carefully then i will come to the point uh, i was uh, enough time is there i was uh, teaching them mri and you will just listen if there is a dehydration of disc you know mri disc pathology we identify 